scaffolding. Scaffolding is a pivotal concept in the socio-cultural theory. It is pivotal because it is talking about the assistance that needs to be provided to the learners. It is pivotal because it is highlighting how the interaction between the child and a more able learner or a peer or a teacher can actually assist in learning. Scaffolding is also important because it somehow highlights the fact that sociocultural theory uh, emphasizes and that is that learning or knowledge is not passive. It does not happen passively. It does not happen, for instance, as Krashen talks about uh, providing um, uh, an input and the learners actually just listening to the input and they acquire a language. Rather, it emphasizes that learn knowledge or any sort of learning does not happen through the process of transmission, but it happens through the process of co-construction of knowledge. So when the learners come in the classrooms, they already know something. They have knowledge in their minds. Although the teacher might not be aware of that knowledge, they do have some sort of knowledge. And when new knowledge comes in or new instructions come in, they process it in the light of their knowledge and uh, they appropriate their knowledge. They change their hypothesis about how language works and, it, and this is how the learning actually takes place. So what are the functions of scaffolding? Or what are the functions of assisting the learners socially in their learning process? First, it is helpful for the learning or appropriation of the knowledge. That means it guides the learner or your assistance as a teacher should guide the learners of how to, uh, how to um, adjust their already learned structures of knowledge in the light of new, um, uh, new knowledge that you are giving them. For instance, you must try to connect the new information or the new learning to what the learners already know to facilitate them to understand the differences and the similarities between what they have learned and what they are going to learn or in the process of learning. So scaffolding does facilitate the transition from other regulation to the to self-regulation. So it facilitates from the learners moving away from guidance, starting from guidance, but gradually moving away from teacher guidance and becoming independent in carrying out the tasks in the second language uh, or in any other uh, learning process that needs to take place. And then functions of scaffolding includes that it should uh, recruit the interest of the learners. So the assistance that the teacher or a more able peer should provide the learners is to enable the teacher, uh, the learner to, uh, to trigger uh, his or her interest in the subject and to maintain that interest in what he or she is learning. This can be done by simplifying the task, breaking the task into smaller steps. Because if the task is so difficult, the learner will not be interested because he or she will feel that it is beyond them. Now, it enables also, so by scaffolding the learner, you allow the learner to pursue the goal um, 
you allow the learner actually to address the discrepancy or close the gap between what he or she already knows and what the target of the learning is. So you try to close the gap. You try to establish links between what they know and what they are about to learn. So in that way, scaffolding also controls the frustration that the learner might feel when a new task, which is slightly difficult for the child, is to be uh, encountered. It keeps the frustration in control, motivates the children, uh, keeps the, their interest in check, and then it, dem it can also be done by demonstration. So, by examples. So, examples that you find in the textbooks are also an example themselves of scaffolding. So, you demonstrate, you show the child how to say something or how to build a sentence. You give several examples and gradually you allow the child to follow suit and make similar, um, uh, similar sentences or similar utterances. Remember, this is different from copying. So it can begin with copying, I agree, but then gradually the learners have to move beyond it and say something different.